Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello friends uh, in this video we are going to discuss a question from heat transfer okay and uh, particularly belonging to the chapter of heat exchanger so actually the question is very simple it says hot and cold fluids enter a parallel tube heat exchanger so basically there is a heat exchanger in which the flow of hot and cold fluid is parallel so let me represent it like this so this is a heat exchanger the hot fluid is entering inside at a temperature of t1 th1 but the outlet temperature is th2 parallel to it a cold fluid is also flowing and its inlet temperature is tc1 outlet temperature is tc2 the heat capacity rates so i hope you remember heat capacity rate is mass flow rate into specific heat so heat capacity rate of hot and cold fluid are 2000 watt per meter kelvin and 1200 watt per meter kelvin respectively if the outlet of the cold fluid is 45 degree celsius so basically th1 is given as 100 degree celsius tc1 is given as 15 degree celsius and i think tc2 is also given as 45 degree celsius so out of all these conditions only one condition is unknown that is th2 they are asking you to find out lftd of this heat exchanger i think considering the side of the heat exchanger where the hot fluid is coming inside as 1 and the side of the heat exchanger where hot fluid is going outside as 2 i think we write lftd as theta 1 minus theta 2 upon natural log of theta 1 by theta 2 what is theta 1 it is temperature difference between hot and cold fluid so theta 1 this will become th1 minus tc1 and theta 2 will become th2 minus tc2 so for us theta 1 will be 100 minus 15 that is 85 and theta 2 will be th2 minus 45 so th2 is unknown so definitely you have to find out th2 somehow i think we can use steady state flow energy equation so steady state flow energy equation ultimately tells us that ch th1 minus th2 is equal to cc tc2 minus tc1 so you can put the values and you can find out the value of th2 okay so we are trying to find out the value of th2 first then only you will be find, able to find out the value of the lmtd so here you will have 2000 upon 1200 or let me write it completely first so 2000 into 100 minus th2 is equal to 1200 into 45 minus 15 which is i think 30 only so these three zeros they will cancel out then this 2 it will become 6 so you have 100 minus th2 that is equal to 18 i think so your th2 that is equal to 100 minus 18 which is equal to 82 degree celsius so they basically have got the exit temperature of hot fluid also 82 degree celsius so when you put 82 degree celsius over here so i think your theta 2 that will be 82 minus 45 so 82 minus 40 that is 42 then 5 so that is 37 degree celsius so now you have got your theta 1 also theta 2 also 85 degree celsius 37 degree celsius so your lmtd is simply 85 minus 37 upon natural log of 85 by 37 okay now sometimes students say bhai uh, temperature difference is there so you should uh, matlab temperature ratio is there you should take kelvin but please note theta 1 that is a temperature difference theta 2 that is a temperature difference a temperature difference you take in degree celsius or kelvin your answer is going to be the same so i think 85 minus 30 that is like 55 and further 7 will go so you will simply have 28 upon natural log of 85 by 37 so you can use your calculators and you can get the final value also so this is the final answer so i hope you like the solution please share it with your friends also so they can utilize it and uh, thank you for watching the video